thinking of moving to Toronto, but having trouble finding the right place for you and your lifestyle? I'm Sandra Inamato, and if this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play in Toronto, make sure you tap the subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And honestly, we get so many phone calls and emails and texts every single day from people moving here. We just love to help them. So even if you're thinking about moving anywhere in the Toronto or GTA area, make sure you give us a call, shoot us an email, or hit the Calendly link below to book an appointment. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when you're moving to Toronto. So let's watch Kelly's journey as she overcomes her fears and becomes a first-time homeowner. I've been in real estate for 15 years, so I know buying a home can be tough. Buying on your own, even tougher. 37-year-old Kelly has missed out on condo after condo because she's just too darn picky. I am not a decisive person. Living among seniors is killing her social life. It's definitely time to get out of the granny building. It's time for me to step in. You can easily talk yourself out of anything. Sandra, help me. She won't be doing it alone, but she will be doing it by herself. My name is Kelly. I'm 37 years old. I'm a single girl living in the city. I'm currently renting. Great location, and the rent is cheap. But my building has a lot of elderly people, and that doesn't really work for a single girl in the city. I really try to look for something that has some social atmosphere, I can meet a lot of, you know, business-like people, things that are people who are in the same circles I am. I have been looking for 10 months. I think I've seen probably between 25, maybe 50 places. Honestly, it gets a little tiresome. And I'm, I'm ready, but I get frustrated because I want to move on. It's been 10 months, too long. Kelly is your classic indecisive buyer, and I have to get to the bottom of the issue. But first, I'm going over to her rental apartment to figure out exactly what she needs in a home. Hi, Hi. how are you? Sometimes you just need a fresh outlook to get the results you want. So this is it. This is it, yes. It's a living room and a dining room, but it's also an office. Do you work from home? Maybe once or twice a week. Okay, so you need an office space. The type of work I do, I support people through any type of business change. But when it comes to me personally, I would say I am not really a decisive person. Does the kitchen work for you? This wall it can be a little difficult for entertaining. If this was open and you could see your guests, sure, that would be great. Ideal, yes. right? Yes, that perfect. Would be great. See the amazing closet. Oh wow, it's pretty big. I love your ball storage. <laughs> I'd like to see you take that down. It actually comes down a lot easier than I thought. Okay, put it back up. <laughs> is it a must-have? Storage is, because I don't know where I'd put all this after I moved. Now this bedroom size is pretty good. Love the size of my bedroom, because I do have two dressers in this yes. room. And I see you're overlooking the garden. You have to find you a place that's quiet, at least in the bedroom, right? Yes, yes, exactly. And if you want to make your own noise, that's your own business. <laughs> is that a door to a balcony? Do you use it? I, I, if you want to get on it, though, you need to kind of go the other way. <laughs> you have to be really thin and go sideways. And I do love it for the summertime to be able to read a book and have my tea or coffee outside. I don't like to be that crazy lady in the park in her jammies and her tea outside, so <laughs> this would be better. So a balcony it. is a must-have. Okay, I got it. Makes sense. Buying a condo, it's freaking me out a little bit. It's going to be probably almost double what I'm currently paying in rent. It's a huge change, but I've been renting for 20 years. That's a long time. Kelly has a $40,000 down payment and qualifies for a $270,000 mortgage, giving her a total budget of $310,000. At that budget, it'll be hard to find a condo with the storage, balcony, and location that Kelly wants. I've asked her to bring along two friends to help with her condo search. This is a very big decision you're about to make. Who are you bringing in to advise you? My opinionated sister, Karen. She'll be looking out for my lifestyle. It's definitely time to get out of the granny building um, to a more youth-oriented uh, building that sort of suits her lifestyle a little better. My friend Derek is going to be making sure that I see the big picture. I think where I'll be helpful um, in Kelly's search is helping her to keep an open mind. And I'm a little worried when we get into a home, you know, I like the bedrooms, I like the balcony, but I don't like the bathroom. And it's gonna be, that's it, deals up. Is this gonna be easy for Kelly? I think she just needs, um, not necessarily advice, but more like a little handhold, maybe a little shove. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for this? I don't know, but yes. <laughs> 
I don't know, but yes, I like it. <laughs> I am picky. <laughs> um, and my friends get that too. Uh, but I really felt connected to Sandra. She pegged off exactly what I needed uh, for a condo in the end result after listening to everything. So I was kind of amazed going, if you get me that, then I'm on board. <laughs> Kelly wants to stay downtown to keep her social life hopping, so I've chosen three condos in prime locations. This first condo I'm showing Kelly is a one bedroom plus den, and it's in her favorite neighborhood. It has a lot of things she wants, like the balcony, open floor plan, and it's move-in ready, but it comes in under budget at $309,000. Kelly's confidant, Derek, is here to help her see the big picture. Oh my God, look at these floors. They're so pretty. These are a four and a half inch Brazilian Koa tiger wood. You rarely see this. It's very durable. And the best thing is this place is done and no renos saves you money. Yeah. And look, this is the den you wanted. Does this space work for you? Or is there enough room here for your office? I think so. I think so. You have a measuring tape in your hand? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Really? Okay. Like it's over seven feet. So it's seven by seven and a half. So this works. I approve. This is awesome. <laughs> Oh, it's actually got a fair size to it. You could put closet organizers in there, maybe with some shelving. Well, Derek, I'm just going to close the mirror so you can check yourself out again. Oh, thank you. Does he have a big ego? Uh, just a Here, little bit. Let me measure it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at this. A room designated for a dining table. That little extra nook is actually a great size. And it's open to the kitchen, just what Kelly wanted for entertaining. You could prep your food here, I you could chop, you could throw things up in the air, <laughs> and entertain your guests. True to form, Kelly has found something to pick on. So where do these people put their pots and pans? In the newer condos, kitchen cupboard space is really tight compared to what I've seen. This one's not bad the appliances, but we'd like to modernize them. The kitchen as a whole is good, right? And and for you, we want to focus on the entire kitchen, just not bits and pieces of it. That's kind of Kelly's personality sometimes. It's open concept, it's great. However, she's found something wrong with it. How is that possible? I don't know. So I like the flow of this, how right from the kitchen, you go into the uh, into like the living kind of area. I actually really like that. The balcony in this condo faces east and south. You get a view of the lake. You get some fresh air. This is where you can have your cup of tea and you don't have to go to the park in your pajamas like a crazy lady. <laughs> I don't like this side particularly, but this side's lovely. Oh, I stole the best view. Here, you guys go over there. there, there. How's that look? Oh, wonderful. Oh, that oh, amazing. <laughs> where would I put like towels and stuff like that? Your cleaning stuff can go down there and you can get a piece of furniture that slides in above the toilet that offers you more storage solutions. This is a pretty good size. Where would I put my two dressers? I really think they're gonna fit in here. Um, it's something to think about. Oh it's my lord, make a decision, girl. Do you, you wanna measure the closet <laughs> since, you know, you got a lot of stuff to bring over? Two feet. Five foot seven inches. Thanks for being my construction worker today. Hey, <laughs> Do you my when you're a realtor, you wear many hats. <laughs> Trust me. I showed you this place because it hit so many things on your wish list. This condo has both a bedroom and office space, an open concept kitchen. It doesn't have the storage Kelly's looking for, but it has a balcony that offers a lake view. The flow is exactly what you were asking for. You can move into this place without having to do anything, and you're buying on your own. That is a serious consideration. I am struggling a bit, I think, with that storage space. Um, what do I do with everything? I don't want to be thrown out half my life. I don't want to make the wrong decision. I'm fighting against myself. Kelly's complaining about a lack of storage space, which is a valid complaint, and I hear it every day about condos. But the thing is, this place is perfect. So I have to show her how to choose her compromise. Coming up, way more storage. Yes, we can all fit in it. Let's oh. go. <laughs> but it comes with a cost. Where's my balcony? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs>My client Kelly has been searching for a home for 10 months, but is paralyzed by indecision. We just saw a stylish space, but there's not enough storage, so our search continues. I have found a condo to solve all of Kelly's storage issues with two bedrooms plus a den. It's big, and the price tag is small. It's listed at $289,000, well below Kelly's budget of $310,000. It's important to save money, especially when there's only one person paying the mortgage. 
Kelly's bringing her sister Karen along as lifestyle advisor to make sure that this condo will be a good fit. What do you think of the floors? Ah, uh, no. No? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. They're not bad. I just feel like I'm walking on plastic. A lot of people are trying to stay away from Broadloom because of the toxins. Mm. So you will find laminate is very, very popular. I would work with this floor and get a beautiful rug. So this is your dining room. I'm not keen on this being the immediate thing that you see when you walk uh, in. I have an option for you. You see that den? I would use it as a dining room myself. Wow. You would see the lights of the city at night. I think you can make it really super cute. I got a question. Where's my balcony? Oh, we need music. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> There's no balcony. I know it's an issue, but there are many reasons why I wanted to show you this place anyway. So let's keep going. Ooh, red. More bright colors. <laughs> totally <laughs> did not consider a den and a second bedroom. What do you think about the lifestyle that the building offers? It is, you know, family oriented. Family oriented, I mean, really, you're gonna get that anywhere and everywhere. My biggest concern though, Cal, you're in a building right now with older people. You're single, you're beautiful. You need that lifestyle to go with it. She would be kind of moving from one old building to a middle-aged building. It's an older building it physically, but yes. as to the people who live here, no, I didn't get that feeling of elderly. But there are a lot of families here with kids. And it makes sense because you do have two bedroom units with den that are affordable. It's your basic kitchen. Yeah, it's missing that open concept. Like I thought it would mm -hmm. be open all the way through. Well, yeah, this wall is backing out onto your bedroom. And if you open this one, you will lose cupboard space. Never even ever thought of changing yep. the countertop, but this I would. Can I borrow your tape measure for a second? Sure. Ow. It's not very smooth. You broke it when we went to the first place. I broke it? Yes. You're kidding. Oh, I'll buy you a new one, a pink one. Okay. If you're looking at 12 feet at $150 a foot installed, so you're under $2,000 for granite. That's you can all. have this back. Thank you. Since I broke it. Yeah. <laughs> What's, oh. Uh, this one's kind of sad. Definitely another renovation required. Oh, en suite locker. You know me in storage. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's deep too. The light is wow. fantastic. How do you feel about the size of this room? I would have to maybe minimize down to one dresser. Um, uh, there's also a closet. Okay, we can put the second dresser, dresser in here. Yes, we can all fit in it. Let's oh, go. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. Two bedroom condo in this neighborhood. I never expected it. The size is fantastic. She could store all her stuff and then some. I heard you say, wow, when I heard you say, oh. I showed Kelly this condo because it's huge. It's got not one, but two bedrooms and a space for an office. It doesn't have an open kitchen, but it's got massive amounts of storage, which could make up for not having a balcony. The size is awesome. The storage, it's fantastic. I really want a balcony, but I just might want these closets a little bit more. If you had unlimited funds, sure. then you could blow out the kitchen and do it all over, but it's a major renovation. You do not want to go through that. Not as a first time homeowner, and certainly not for a person on their own. But you could actually do the kitchen for as low as maybe $1,500 if you just changed the laminate counter and changed the cupboard doors, if you just refaced the kitchen. I don't want just fine. I want something, as I said, perfect for me. I think she's truly wowed by the size, but I'm not sure if she's gonna be wowed in the long term over the exact building. Kelly wanted space, I gave her space. And she still found a yeah, but. If she keeps doing this, she's never gonna buy a place. And Toronto condos sell in a heartbeat and the prices just keep going up and out of her range. Coming up. Wow. I've got a funky floor plan for Kelly to check out, but there's a catch. Construction sure. workers, we're uh, single. <laughs> oh, he's looking out for you. My client Kelly's about to buy a condo by herself, if she can look beyond the cosmetic details. I've shown her two properties, but neither is just right. I'm determined to find Kelly the perfect home. The third condo I'm showing Kelly is a little bit more expensive at $324,900, but it has an exciting floor plan, an updated kitchen and bath, just like she wants. Wow, I like the light that's in this space. What do you think of this space here? It's a pretty good size. Now, how do you feel about the carpet? New. Oh, 
<laughs> and that's an absolute no. I totally don't want carpet. You would replace it with hardwood floor then? Yes. You're looking at roughly $10 a foot installed. You could probably do this space for $5,000 or even less, depending okay. what you chose, but you have a rental, and that gives you the opportunity to get the floors done, painting whatever else you want, and then move in. Yeah. It's a luxury, so enjoy it. Check out this closet. Lots of storage. In most places, the kitchen's here, and then it's open here. Yeah, so right. this is actually very nice. Yeah. I'm enjoying this layout. It's a little bit different from what I'm used to seeing. So is that a balcony? Yeah. I would definitely say it's teeny weeny. It is, but there's enough room for a chair where you can have your cup of tea in your pajamas. Wait, the view? Most of your view will go. That's the situation in this city. We're getting high rises all around us. Even if you buy a phenomenal view, unless you're right on the lake looking at the lake, it will be obstructed sometime soon. Right outside your door, that noise. And that will go on for about two years. It's just something that I need to consider. Construction sure. workers, we're single. <laughs> Oh, he's looking out for you. I do like this. Whereas yeah. I'm all chatty and yes. I'm talking to my friends. Is there enough cupboard space? No, there's not a lot. Because you're missing this wall. Right. right. See, that's what you lose for the open concept. The bathroom is beautiful. Yeah, I like. It's too bright for my taste. There's things called curtains. So what do you think of this area here with the closet on either side mm. of the bed? Wow. It's kind of small though, isn't it? What they've done here is they've sacrificed the size of the master bedroom to give you more living space. And some people would say that is a smart option and other people want a bigger bedroom. I'd rather have more space out there mm -hmm. versus worried about the space in here. So now that you've seen the entire condo, what do you think? It's a one bedroom with a space for an office and a wide open kitchen. It's got limited storage, but it does have a balcony, a small one, but it's a balcony. The layout is great. I could see you living here for sure. Would they ever be a little flexible on the price? Because this carpet is not staying here. But had hardwood floors in pristine condition, the price would be higher. Really? Even more? What's making me struggle, honestly, is storage. Is there a locker oh, that, that yeah. comes with this? There's no storage locker. One great thing, though, is there is a parking spot okay. that you can sell or rent out. Mm -hmm. Now, parking spot in this area goes for 30 grand. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Put it right towards your bottom line, your principal. Cha-ching. That's really good. I really don't want to have to consider about selling a spot. I am, you know, a bit of a stress person. If that's the only deterrent to the suite, then we can tell them to sell the parking spot and you buy just the suite. A lot of young people live here, very professional, and a gorgeous barbecue area. The clock is ticking, girl. Let's go. <laughs> I have to think about it. Oh. I do. If Kelly doesn't take my advice, it won't hurt my feelings. I just want her to make a decision and make it now. And it, whether it's Karen's or Sandra's or mine, I don't really care. Just buy it. Buy something. I know what I want and I know when I see it. And so I'm still, you know, I'm still working through a lot of thoughts on it. Kelly wants everything on her wish list without compromises and she wants a deal on price. It's not unusual for a client to have those expectations, but it is unrealistic. Something's got to give. It's showtime. Kelly has to make a decision. And she's seen three great condos. And they won't last long in this hot market. The condo with the Brazilian floors is in move-in condition, but light on storage. The two-bedroom has tons of space, but a claustrophobic kitchen. The light and airy condo has a great floor plan, but nearby construction could last two years. I think Kelly should buy the two-bedroom condo because it's got the space and it's got the price. I think Kelly should buy the condo with the Brazilian floors. It's a cute, chic building, kind of like her. It's a great match for her personality and her lifestyle. So tell me how you're feeling. A little bit conflicted. Um, I'm still sort of, kind of want your help a little bit. Yeah, sure, kind of that's why I'm here. Because I don't want you to continue to get hung up on the small stuff. I know from just getting to know you in the last little while, you can easily talk yourself out of anything and it's fear-based. So what are you truly afraid of? What always sort of kind of hinders me a little bit, it's, it's the money aspect. When I do pen to paper, then you're like, that's done and dusted. You, you know what I mean? You can't go back on it. <laughs> you made the decision almost a year ago that, yeah, I'm gonna spend the money. It's, it's for me. I will make sacrifices for me. Mm -hmm. I wanna get over there. So in order to get over there, I have to take this step. I think I've reached the point that, you know what, I'm, I, I'm ready to really jump in with two feet. And can you see yourself in one particular condo above all the rest? Yes, yeah. As long as you hold my hand. I'm gonna hold it, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it. Coming up, 
I've got big news for Kelly. Did she get it? My client Kelly is buying a home on her own. I've shown her three great condos. One with Brazilian hardwood floors, a two bedroom with tons of storage, and a bright and airy one. After some tough deliberations and some hand holding, Kelly has made a choice. I think I've really made, and I made my decision, I think I know which one that I want. It's very clear to me which unit yeah, stands out? Considering the three that are out there that we've looked at, I, as you know, we just talked about a lot of great things about them. The one that I'm really starting to fall in love with is the one with the, the Brazilian. <laughs> well, perfect. That's the one. Now, thinking about that unit, are you ready to make the leap? Are you ready to put pen to paper? Let's do it. I'm so excited. Let's do it. Now that Kelly's made her decision, it's time to write up that offer and see if those Brazilian floors will be hers. Hey. <laughs> so, did she get it? Congratulations. You own beautiful Brazilian floors. They're all yours. I really fell in love with the Brazilian floors. And then I really started opening up to what the possibilities are of this place and the lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, I'm so oh. across. And here you go. Here's your paperwork. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the you signed it, you own it. <laughs> I'm so appreciative of everyone helping me. Like, oh, to it get was there. fun. And, oh so my good. god, I'm that good. whole long roller coaster is over. I'm gonna make you even happier right now. Oh, what else? You know, a promise is a promise. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's pink. You Yay. promised pink. Oh, I did, you awesome. and I deliver. Look at this. <laughs> That's so cute thing. I'm so relieved that I've done it. I have signed on the dotted line, and I'm ready to move on with my life. Sandra helped me make this decision by helping me look beyond the money factor and just get something that I love. It can be pretty easy to sweat the small stuff in your real estate search, but for Kelly, it was bordering on self-sabotage. My job was to help her to realize that to get the lifestyle, she just had to make a move. And suddenly, the choice became clear, and she made it by herself. I am so happy and excited Kelly got the condo with the Brazilian floors. If she's happy, I'm happy at the end of the day. So a gay husband, a role is not that different from a straight husband, right? As long as she's happy, I'm happy. My advice to other women is, you know what? For me, get out of your comfort zone. Get something that you love, something that you want to call home. For more information about this show, please visit hgtv.ca. If you're getting ready to move in or around Toronto, please reach out to me with the information in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. See ya.